This morning, we're going to read a story called The Mission of Addition. It was written by Brian P. Clearly and illustrated by Gra Brian Gabble. And the book, it says, the team behind words are categorically offers their first math book. Through playful rhymes, it explains basic concepts such as addition. So let's read it. Here is the dedication page. It says, to my brother Mike, the numbers guy in our family. Addition, combining two or more numbers to come up with their total. Addition is growing the total of things, like bubbles in the bath or bright shiny rings. Look at the kitty cat in the bath blowing bubbles. And these kitty cats looking at bright shiny rings. Six yellow buses were parked in a line. Three pulled behind them and then there were nine. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there's the six, and there's three more, so six, seven, eight, nine. Along came four more, and that made 13. If you've got that right, you're an adding machine. Okay, let's count all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's our nine original buses, and there's four more. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We can count the picture when we're adding to find the total. To add is to make bigger the total number of whatever you are counting up. Like baseballs in a glove, seven batters plus two more make nine when they are added. The number just gets bigger with each one who is batted. Okay, so let's see. We have seven, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And here's two more, eight, nine. No amount gets smaller when you're working in addition. The numbers climb from low to high cause that's addition's mission. The Johnsons had one babysitter when Gretchen, Gretchen was her name. She cried, help! So number two, Miss Higginbottom came. So there was one babysitter and she needed help because those kids were crazy. So they added one more, one, two. Third came Miss Clinklehorn. Fourth was Mrs. Stein. So far, this made four who tried to keep them in a line. Oh no, here's the two more um, babysitters. Fifth was Caitlin McNamee. And sixth was Mrs. Lee. And four more, total ten and all, to watch that crew of three. You see, to add means to increase. It's a way of showing more when counting babysitters or bread crusts on the floor. Plus can be used just like and. It helps us when we count. 6 plus 8 equals 14. Combining all the numbers till we get the full amount. Equals can be used like is or totals even makes. It doesn't matter if you're adding friends or birthday cakes. Look, three, one, two, three, plus two, one, two, equals five. One, two, three, four, five. There's five in total. So if a hen lays seven eggs, plus three, plus four, plus ten, the total equals 24 and one exhausted hen. In counting the musicians in the marching band at school, if you add up all the players from each group, just look, 
It's cool. Nine are playing trumpet, plus three are on trombone. Two more jam on flugelhorn, and six on a sax saxophone. So nine plus three plus two plus six, that's 20 horns, but wait. When you add an eight bass drummers in, that equals 28. So when it comes to counting, don't worry, fret, or fuss. You'll find that knowing how to add is very much a plus. So what is addition? Do you know? Oh, wow. So let's go back. They asked, what is addition? Hmm, that's a good question. I want you to think inside your head. What is addition? What does that mean? And turn and tell your learning partner. Tell them what does addition mean? And ask them what do they think addition means? Good job, guys.